In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with your On The Clock account as an employee. So first, you'll be invited to On The Clock by your employer. You should have received an invite link. If you haven't, reach out to your manager. They will be able to create your login credentials and then send you that login. Once your account's been created, you'll just need to verify your email address. So be sure to keep a lookout for the email from On The Clock with that verification link. And then additionally, feel free to download our mobile app on iOS or Android. You can also punch in from your phone using a web browser or the app if you have been allowed to do so by management. So to get started on the web browser, you'll want to go ahead and enter your username or email address that you have, and then that password. Once you've logged into your on the clock account, you'll immediately be brought to your employee punch time card. So you'll see that you have a current status. You will reflect as out or in. Your company name will be here. The date and time will be reflected. If you happen to have jobs, customers, projects, tasks turned on or enabled, you'll see something similar to that right here with a drop down. You'll have a list of items to choose from. And then if you happen to have punch notes turned on, you have the ability to add a time card note here. Aside from adding a punch note, we also have the ability to add a attachment or a photo attachment here. Depending on the photo attachment option that you have enabled by your employer, you can upload a photo by browsing for one, or you can also use a webcam to take a picture and upload it that way. Once you are ready to go ahead and complete your punch, go ahead and click on punch in and you will receive the success message. You'll see that your status is now updated to in and then you can also enter any additional information such as tips bonus commission if turned on by your employer. You can enter that punch note if needed and then you can enter mileage as well here. If you're looking to just simply switch a job instead of punching out from your day and you just wanna switch what you punched into, go ahead and select a different option here. Enter your punch note or mileage here if needed, and then go ahead and update your time card. Again, you will receive the success message that you have successfully punched your time. We do have some additional on the clock features. So you may have some of these set up inside of your employee account as well. One of them being our check in feature. So if you are asked to just simply check in throughout the day um, and you're not looking to necessarily punch out, you can go ahead and again, select a job, enter any punch notes that you would like or upload photo attachments, and then you can do a check in. So again, this is different from a uh, punch in or punch out. It's just simply going to go ahead and put a timestamp on your time card saying that you have checked in and any additional information that you include on that check in will be listed on that item there. So success, I have been checked in for the day with the date and time. You can view your time cards with those punch ins and outs, as well as any check-ins that you've logged. If you do happen to have the ability to edit your own time card, you'll notice that you have an edit pencil right here to edit your hours. Go ahead and click on that, and you can go ahead and enter any information that's needed. Once you've added all the information, you can go ahead and resave your time card. If you happen to be at the end of your time card period and you were asked to approve a time card, you'll notice that you have this approved time card option right here. Go ahead and check on this. You'll be asked to enter your initials, just confirming that you do agree that the information is correct. And then once you've entered your initials, go ahead and tap approve. You'll notice that you'll get the success message and then a little check mark indicating that you have approved your time card at the date and time listed. If you're looking for other time cards that are falling within a different pay period, you do have the ability to look at those different pay periods here. As an employee, you also have the option to print a PDF of your time cards as well. If you happen to have that manual time card and entry adjustment turned on, you also have the ability to add a time card if you happen to miss a punch. So go ahead and click on that add hours. Next, you'll want to go ahead and select the date, then choose add in out times. Now go ahead and enter those times for the time card. Once you have saved that time card, you will see that listed here on your time cards page.
You'll also notice if you happen to have this feature turned on inside of your employee account, a work schedule, so you can view your schedule that you are working. You can also navigate between different published schedules here. So you'll see that you have a schedule that's been published with the dates and times that you are going to be working. You can view just your own personal schedule. If your employer has turned it on so you can view all of your other coworker schedules, go ahead and choose all employees and you will see additional information about your colleagues' work time. The next feature that we have is PTO. If your employer has turned on PTO tracking inside of your employee profile, you'll have the ability to request PTO inside of your on the clock account. Go ahead and you can click on this request PTO button. You'll choose that vacation or that PTO type that you are requesting for. You'll enter the number of hours of which you wish to take time off for. And then if you would like to leave a note, you may go ahead and do so here. Then you can go ahead and submit your time card for approval for that PTO request. You'll get this notification that it has been submitted and now you'll just have to wait for one of your managers to go in and approve that PTO request. Once it's been approved, you will see that reflected on your time card right here. Something else that you can note inside of your PTO profile, you'll be able to see all of your PTO rule and types that you have. You'll see the rule as far as the number of hours that you have allotted or accruing between the to and from dates. You can see how much you have used in remaining. You'll also be able to see a summary of your used PTO hours and then any PTO requests that you have submitted, you'll see listed right here. Since I just submitted my PTO request, it is currently set to pending and I can view that right here as the status. Once this has been approved, I will see a approved message under the status section. And then I'll see my PTO numbers adjust right up here as far as the amount used and how much I have remaining for this section. You'll also notice in the top right hand corner by your name, there's a chat icon. If you happen to click on this, you have the ability to come in and create new chats. You can send messages between you and your colleagues. You can choose anyone who's an administrator, manager, or an employee. You can create multiple groups, or you can keep it as just one single person. So you can go ahead and choose a person that you would like to create that group with, enter the subject line, create that group, and then you can go ahead and send any messages that you would like. Once you have sent your message, they will see that they have a unread message up in the top right hand corner of their on the clock account. And that's everything that you need to know as an employee for getting started and utilizing your on the clock account. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to send a message to our support team at support at on the clock .com or send a message to us through our live chat option.